Okay. From this video on, we are going to explain the MoGraph, the motion graphics system in Cinema 4D. This is one of the main system in Cinema 4D. It's a MoGraph. And we have MoGraph generator, cloner, matrix, Bronoi, and tracer. I will explain all of this menu and its their effectors. Uh, from this video, I'm going to explain cloner in uh, several parts because it's very huge. And after that, I have lots of example uh, in other videos that I have to explain some of their option in example. Uh, and don't worry, you can learn the cloner very easy. Uh, the cloner is also here in menu. The, we have a main motion graphic menu here. That's why I have to explain that. First is cloner. The cloner is exactly its name. It's clone something and uh, it has a lot of sitting. For example, I insert a cube here and make it smaller. And as you know before, this is a green uh, common in Cinema 4D that you have to uh, click and drag object below that, like this. And as you can see in it, <clears throat> Cinema 4D, it's in default clone in grid. The cloner, if you click the cube, the sitting of the cube will appear here. And if you click the cloner, the sitting of the cloner appear here. We have several tab, basic, coordinate, object, that's the most important settings here transform and the effector in a MoGraph we have a lot of effector that can affect the uh, graphic and these effectors create motion graphic power of the motion graphic are this effector combined with the fields you can do a lot so interesting effects that you have to <clears throat> you have to learn them uh, with uh, example it's very complex and sometimes but we are going step to step, part to part. Okay, so we going first to the object. In a mode, as you can see, we have a several mode, object, linear. For example, you can clone around the object, linear, radial, grid. And by default, this isn't grid, okay? I begin with linear it's because this is very easy and straightforward and you can understand it. <clears throat> If you click the cloner, this is the mode on a grid. I will be explain all of them, don't worry. But the first thing I want to uh, explain is the count. As you can see, it's the count in uh, a Y direction. Why is that? Because of uh, here. Okay. As you can see, we have three uh, transform box in cloner that you don't be confusing because they are very simple if you going to uh, coordinate for example the position as you can see you can change the position of whole uh, move graph system for example this is a position xyz in exactly in the middle or you can rotate all of the cloner all of the cloner whole the cloner is so the Coordinate system is exactly this. You can rotate all cloner with all effects and parameter. Okay. So this is untransform. But in object, we have different transform here. This transform here is for changing the rotation position of inside <clears throat> uh, cloner. As you can see in a Y axis, we have 500 millimeter or because I'm unit is, my unit is in a millimeter. It means uh, from center to center of other cube, we have this uh, position distance in a Y axis. This is in Y, this is in, as you can see, Z and this is an X axis. As you can see, you can change the <clears throat> distance between the cloned object with this. Or also, you can make it a zero or change the cloner in a Z, right click to zero and to the X. Interesting. So you can change the number here. So, and you can move it in any direction that you want in 
both in the, all of these three angles. So you can, in this field, you can change the position of, of the clone object. And here is the count. You can increase or decrease the count of the uh, cloner that you want. For example, I give 20, big number. And if you are, it's very important, if you are in a model mode, we have a handle here that you can change the position X and Y and Z in a cloner. And here is a rotation. <clears throat> you can rotate, as you can see, all of the uh, object in any direction. H, P, B. You, uh, you name it. It's very easy. Pinch, banking, heading. Okay. The coordinate uh, rotation system of the Cinema 4D is like this. Don't confuse in changing to see what you want to change. Another thing is a scale. You can scale in a Y, as you can see. It's going per step. I will explain the mode here. It's going the per step. As you can see, for example, from zero to, for example, 200 of uh, <clears throat> a scale is going per step. But if you change it to the end point, uh, it's better to, sorry. It's better to explain it with another example. Uh, you can understand better mode per step or end points in rotation. For example, as you can see, it's a per step. It means uh, each object has, it, it has its rotation, but if you change it to the end point, make it a zero again, reset it. And as you can see, <clears throat> we have a different mode to rotation. This rotation in the end point, it means it's calculate from beginning to the end of the cloner and rotate smoothly uh, whole object with one angle. But if you make it a zero, change it to the per step, it means this rotation uh, gives to per object and step to step and going to the end. Okay, it's very easy. You can see its effect here. So we have two mode for end point and uh, end point. In, for example, I rotate um, 20 degree. It's rotate all objects from end, from beginning to end. And it's going smoothly uh, change from zero to, for example, that's a uh, number to type here. But in a per step, it gives in any object, for example, this object, and then go into the, another step and rotate it, rotate it. So we have um, an ununiform rotation in per step. or you can see it on an uh, scale. For better changing, if you, for example, in a per step, you are here, right click to make it, oh, zero, no, reset it to the, you know, and then going to the end point and change it again. Ah, in this mode, you cannot see it, very nice. Okay, as you can see, uh, oh yes, in the end point, you can see it better. <clears throat> So you can change the, uh, it's better to the per step. So uh, make the number to the default and then change. As you can see here in the per step, it gives the a scale step by a step. But I think we have a different mode. If you can see it in the end point. As you can see, we have more smooth uh, scale to the end point. Make it a zero, uh, 100 again, and uh, per step mode is better for clock. <clears throat> so, uh, so you learn it, an amount, it means, uh, for example, you change the rotation in per step and the amount, and as you can see, you can change the amount of this, uh, effects which effects we have two effects here changing the position and changing the 
rotation. You can change it amount. It's go to the zero. It means it's actually turn off or on uh, cloner. 100, it means all of the cloner are in action. And you can do interesting effect. As you can see, smoothly rotate and change it position. Or, for example, scale it in this direction. You can change amount of that. Nice. So, and zero. So in this transform, this is the main transform of uh, the uh, cloner and gives each object different properties for transform position rotation. But another rotation of here is we have another rotation. It gives the ro rotation to whole uh, cloner with the angle. For example, if you change the rotation of edge, as you can see, it gives rotation to the, all of the cloner, but uh, in this way, right? Zero eight. <clears throat> or rotation in this angle, it's like uh, exactly uh, the here or in this direction, nice. So, uh, and here we have an, a step size. For example, if you change it here, bring it back to the beginning and here a step size. You can change the size of this uh, special rotation in Kelowna. So you can see the difference between this rotation is give you individual to object or it's give to the whole object and make it a zero. Uh, we have a step mode uh, uh, single value. It means it gives this rotation uh, to single of this object and cause this effect. But in cumulative, uh, it's uh, it's called ex something extracts all of the object in one point. You can see it. As you can see, this is a cumulative mode. And rotate and rotate and rotate to you can do its interesting effect with this cumulative option. Okay, this is, you, you can learn the difference between single value, it's log twice list, it's going back to its direction and, and, and close, close. And the cumulative is log twice list. You can see the difference, I want, uh, it's very straightforward and you can see difference i don't want to go explain very uh, scientifically it's very easy <clears throat> so uh another transfer option is here another transfer option is here as you can see if you change this <clears throat> position you can change the uh when you go to the transform here you can change whole object Look at this center of the, this is a center of the cloner. You change whole cloner with all of its systems. But in the transfer, in the transform here, you change the center of the cloner. Because in some example, the center of the cloner is very important. So here you are changing, as you can see, the center of the cloner changes, it <clears throat> remain in the center. The whole object of the cloner objects go, for example, in this direction of the Y, okay? It, in a coordination, you can <clears throat> uh, transform whole cloner with in, in center, but in this transform, as you can see, you can change the uh, transform the, as you can see, the the direction of the center is maintained constant, but you change it to the rotation of the whole cloner or whole scale of the object. Okay, as you can see in a scale, you can scale whole object. You can see difference between them, it's very easy. And okay. 
In the next lesson, we are going to other setting of the cloner. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.